In today's video, I am going to be ranking every single NFL team, but not on how good they are, not on how bad they are, not about their quarterbacks, receivers, running backs, tight ends, anything. Today, I am simply ranking every team on how much I like them. And we're not going different categories. We are going numerical. My favorite team all the way down to my least favorite team, 1 through 32. It's meant to be fun, hopefully funny, and I feel like it's a good Friday video. So before we hop into it, we got a couple of quick plugs. You can use code Wyatt's World on G Fuel or Prize Picks. It'll save you a 20% discount on any G Fuel products or match up to $100 of your first deposit. Also, remember to use code Wyatt. 10 on Waggle Golf for a discount off of any of their merch. Link is in the bio. All right, enough plugging. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so here we are at the list. There's no explanation needed. And like I said, we're going number one first. So my favorite team in the league is none other than the Buffalo Bills. That should come as a shock to nobody. And for those who are going to continue to ask how I became a fan, a very brief summary. I didn't start watching football till late in my life. When I used to play Madden, I would always play as the Bills. So when I started actually watching football, I started watching the Bills. I'm a Bills fan. Number two, the Minnesota Vikings. For those who don't know this, I live in Minnesota. That's that's kind of my big weird thing. I heavily support the Vikings too. However, if they were to ever meet against Buffalo, like they did last year, I'm always gonna cheer for Buffalo, but I love my Vikings. Number three, Detroit. I've always been a weird Lions supporter. I don't know what it is. I've always just liked their players. I've liked their coach. Well, since they got Campbell. I'm a huge Jared Goff guy. Plus their fans rock. So like, there's just nothing to hate about the Lions. Number four. Some people might be able to guess this one, but it's Jacksonville, actually, right now. I'm very intrigued by them, man. I think they're going to be a very electric team, and obviously you can tell I love Trevor, I love ETN, I love Kelvin Ridley. Obviously, having players that I really like makes it easier to get behind, but it's another one that it's like the fans and the whole story that they've had over the last couple years just makes it all the better. Number five. Right now, it's actually Denver. I think they're good. I believe in them. I know last year I was really high on them too, but this year they're in a much better predicament. Like, I think it's seriously going to be night and day, and it's going to be a huge I told you so to a lot of people. Again, they also have a list of players who I adore, like Javante Williams, Pat Sertan, Jerry Judy. All right, number six, the Bengals. If they're not playing Buffalo, I'm cheering for them. They're just a very, very good and likable team. Also, you know, the whole DeMar Hamlin game and incident thing, the respect that they gave us and we gave them, it's just, we're kind of bonded, I believe. Number seven, Texans. They're a team that potentially could explode and they're a team that I got behind pretty much more and more every week during the offseason. Like in D'Amico Ryans, I love the CJ Stroud pick. Love how aggressive they were in the draft to get Will. I hope that they're going to be a very interesting and fun team to watch. Number eight, Philly. I know it's weird. A lot of Vikings fans hate the Eagles because of 2017. Well, it's not me, because of Jalen Hurts. Many people know that I was a huge Jalen supporter in college, so the moment he took over in Philly, I pretty much became a supporter of him in the sense that if the team does well, I'm fine because that means he's typically doing well. I don't mean to bandwagon them whatsoever. It's just Jalen Hurts. Number nine. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Dallas. I think they're way, way, way too disrespected to the point where I'm starting to support them because of it. I used to hate this team. I used to literally hate their guts. But people are just being arrogant when it comes to the talent on them right now. People are just being completely naive when it comes to how good they're possibly going to be. Number 10, Atlanta. I have a friend who's a huge Falcons fan, so, you know, I kind of support him that way. But it's another team, man, that I just think they made a lot of correct moves this offseason. I like Arthur Smith as head coach, and I think that they could really turn it around, which I want them to do. Number 11, another one that might drop some jaws, but it's the Giants. You ever gotten your ass kicked so bad on something that you just kind of learned to respect it? Tell the Giants were to me going into last year. Like, they beat the hell out of my opinion so bad that I kind of just like them now. Plus, Brian Dayball, I mean, he's a huge part of it, but I'm changing. That's what I'm saying. I'm changing. On to 12, Cleveland. And now I support every aspect of this team other than their quarterback. I believe that they can also be a division winner. I believe that they have all the tools to go all the way. I'm a fan of the underdogs. I'm a fan of Nick Chubb, Miles Gary. You guys know the whole story there. But unfortunately, they dropped about six spots due to their quarterback. All right, 13, San Francisco. Come on. I feel like this is the team that if your team is out, you're going to cheer for them because they're 
pretty well-rounded. They're pretty likable. Plus last year, I, I mean, they were not set up for success at all after about week 10, and yet they ended up going further than they should have. Now we got 14. Tampa Bay. Yeah, I know. I take a big dump on Todd Bowles all the time, and I took a huge dump on Baker, and I stand by that. I think he's the worst starting quarterback in the league. But I still like the team. For one, I hate to be this guy, but they have a kick-ass logo. For two, they got Antoine Winfield, who went to the U of M, so obviously I'm gonna follow him wherever he goes. And three, they got my boy, Big Mike Evans. Fifteen. Seattle. Look, I, I definitely do not hate them. I don't dislike them at all. I can't say I'm a fan of them, but I'm cool with them. Their coach is, I mean, a legend of the game at this point. They're, they're an entertaining team. Okay, 16. Chargers. They would probably be top 10 if Brandon Staley wasn't their head coach, but I hate him so much that it, it just drops them. Very likable players on their team. Awesome receiving core. Electric offense. Their coach is ass. 17. The Saints. Another team that I used to hate more than life itself. Actually, I don't hate life, but another team I used to despise and another team I no longer do. I hate Dennis Allen, but I'm a big Derek Carr guy. I like their offense. I like their defense. I think they got a good team. Number 18, we got Carolina. They got Adam Thielen, man. Obviously, I got to support him in some sense, but outside of him, I, I, I don't really care about him that much. Moving on to 19, we got the Steelers. I respect them, but I don't love them. Fans can kind of be assholes too. I don't know. They're, they're just there. 20, the Commanders. Still, they're, they're just there. We're not at the teams that I don't like or hate yet, but I have no connection with the Washington Commanders. And I think they're gonna be terrible this year and their fans are very upset about me saying that. 21, the Rams. They're obviously not nearly as good as they were a couple years ago, but they still have some stars. They still have some entertaining aspects of their team, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to watch them and I'm not gonna go out of my way to hate on them. 22, the Titans. Now they're a team that I just have no interest in because they're gonna be so terrible. I just think this year to watch a Titans game would be like watching NASCAR. 23, we got the Colts. Not a big fan of them. Still not at pure hatred, but I just think that their front office and organization up until drafting Anthony Richardson has been really stupid over like the last six years. Hopefully they can turn a new leaf now. 24. The Packers. There's no, you know, hate, but there is absolutely no like. And I think their coach is an absolute fraud who was carried by Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. 25. The Raiders. Because they're idiots. The team itself is idiots. Haven't been a fan of them. Then they got Josh McDaniels. Really wasn't a fan of them. And then they completely screwed over Derek Carr. And now I pretty much do hate them. 26. Patriots. Look, you guys are getting less hate. You were at one point, you know, probably 32. But now after doing bad for a number of years and losing Tom Brady and kind of just being humble. I, I don't hate you guys as much, but I still hate you. 27. Cardinals. It was never really a hatred. It was me just saying that their team was going to be exactly what they were last year, but their fans turned it into a hatred because they were coming at me because I was right. 28. The Bears. Look, just because I'm optimistic of their upcoming season and I'm a realist that their team could be good does not mean that I like them. I still hate them. They're still assholes. Their fans are still assholes, but their team potentially could be good. 29, Miami. It went from a little brother that we had beat the shit out of to a little brother who learned how to fight back. And their fan base has turned into the very annoying voice of your little brother in your ear. 30, Baltimore. Another team that I respect and talk good about, but I fucking hate them, really, I do. And it's because of the fan base here. Nothing to do with the team. It's all the fans, and I'm sorry. I know that there's a couple good Ravens fans out there, but this is the no fun fan base. There is no jokes to be said about that team, their quarterback, nothing, because if you do, you will have 9,000 of them at your throat. 31, Jets. Didn't really have an issue with them until they acquired Aaron Rodgers, and that just made me hate them. I'm praying on their downfall. I hope they suck. And 32 is the Chiefs. I mean, you guys, ruined my life. Nice when we can beat you in the regular season, but that doesn't matter a whole lot when what's in the postseason now, does it? Eat shit. Anyway, guys, that was me ranking every team that I like from best to worst. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope you had some fun with it. And let me know in the comments who your most liked and most hated teams are. Anyway, I am going to hop off and get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. Enjoy your weekend. And as always, I will see you in the next video.